In cards, you need to play smart, and that means making great tactical decisions. In today's game, I'm going to take my Japanese aggro deck and share some of my thoughts on the matter here today on Legendary Tactics. So I've been really uh, having a bit of fun with my uh, Japanese aggro deck. It's uh, one I've been experimenting with a little bit and uh, trying to work my way up the ranks. Um, I've been kind of inconsistent in that regard, but uh, that, that's part of uh, the game, I think, is just uh, you keep playing, you improve your deck, and uh, gradually you get to the point where you've, you've got uh, some nice synergies going and uh, you can really compete at a, a reasonable level. So, um, so I'm uh, up against uh, the, uh, an interesting uh, combination here. I think if it's, I think it's Russian and uh, is it maybe Polish? I can't remember now all of a sudden, but, um, but I'm just uh, doing my um, rush deck thing. Now, I don't know if my deck is actually pure Japanese aggro uh, because I've got a lot of cards that are uh, kind of pretty solid in the mid game at least there may not be there may not be dominant end game pieces but they're pretty good mid game so that's what I usually try and do and then with combinations of various uh, removal cards and and uh, cards that boost and that sort of thing um, I've been working on this deck to try and come up with a, a, an interesting set of combinations it actually is pretty resilient so far um, but uh, anyway, we're up against, I guess, sorry, it's a British deck here uh, and Russian. So uh, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, um, I am, uh, I've got a good, decent hand of cards. I like, I've got the fact I've got the convoy, um, <clears throat> lots of opportunities for card draw and, uh, and, and removal. Um, I am going to have to get some units down though. Um, one of the problems with having great boosts and removals is that if your hand is full of them the problem is you have to get uh, uh, get rid of them somehow uh, expansion that's the other card draw one so no need for it now I've got more than enough cards here uh, I'm trying to find ways to to unload them <laughs> so I can't uh, I don't want to waste that uh, or sorry that uh, that one credit card there is uh, for units with guards so um, it's uh, not really useful at the moment. So I'm going to crowd the front line. Uh, yeah, th there's some British guards uh, now reinforced. Um, luckily, they don't do a lot of damage. Um, and uh, although with naval support now, that card is, uh, you know, yeah, pretty strong, especially this at this point in the game. So this is where I kind of want to show you maybe how you can use some uh, tactics to... Um, take out a card like that so you don't have to have to deal with it um, and uh, so I'm fishing around I mean I, I may have been able to put something uh, together uh, but uh, I think the the goal here is to take out that 7-7 seven, seven, and even while well, the one seven guard as well um, but uh, without uh, sacrificing too much and also just I think playing well. I think this this is a game where um, it really helps to plan ahead a little bit, see what what the enemy is doing, and you know allowing for that. And I can see there's some expanded U.S. research uh, coming up, so that's not good. Um, I do not have any research cards yet, so I'm working my way up to that point. Whenever I see a research deck, I figure it's going to be a a bad game for me. So uh, anyway, I, get, I, I put down uh, uh, that uh, um, Japanese tank and boost it uh, up to a 5-8, which uh, with guard and ambush is a pretty tough customer. And uh, still holding the, uh, the front line. Interestingly, there's been no attacks on uh, the front line, uh, which is a bit surprising. Now here we're getting it now, but um, and another guard goes down, Churchill. Um, so there must be cards, uh, just looking at the deck, there must be cards that boost uh, their attack up to equal their defense, something like that, like the card that was played earlier. Um, seems to me that would be the, uh, the likely uh, candidate. So looking uh, here, I'm, uh, you know, and this is where you can plan ahead. If you can boost 
the uh, attack of a of a unit with uh, one of you know like a type 97 or something along those lines uh, it's never a bad idea to uh, to do that and plan as plan that out as part of it um, you can see part of my plan here is to have seven attack uh, available to take out that strong unit um, now the Churchill I'm not so worried about because it's only two attack it's not very good on offense but if I can, if I can survive, I'd like to take out that British uh, guard unit. Now, my opponent's probably well aware of what I'm up to. But again, it's about creating the opportunities, creating the threats and making sure that, uh, um, you know, you're doing um, everything you can to uh, maximize the damage, uh, you know, and, and make sure that you're putting yourself in a position to take out the... Uh, the enemy's units um, and especially the, the larger ones so um, anyway it was pretty funny uh, that was perfect that uh, he attacked with the Churchill I used my blade of the samurai to eliminate the 7-7 and uh, advance and now the, the board is looking a little bit better and uh, <laughs> for me and I still have expansion I have the convoy uh, in hand um, he uh, utilizes the, uh, the supply drops to really boost that unit up. And that, that unit's pretty nasty because it heals at the end of every turn. So it's free to attack. Uh, and then on the beginning of, its, uh, of uh, your opponent's turn, that card is going to heal. So you have to be very careful about that. And you want to make sure that you are in a position to try and take out uh, the enemy here um, so now I don't have uh, the ability to use expansion right now uh, now I, I usually recommend actually playing a, if you if you uh, are at this stage of the game play a, ga a card like convoy um, early and then that gives you options see I've got six credits I've picked up two new cards that might come in useful and uh, right now I'm just looking to create uh, some opportunities to take that uh, Russian unit out. Now you, you, know, you see the that unit heals, and it has ambush, so I kind of have to let it come to me. And there it is, naval support. That was the the move that uh, was uh, was planned. Is getting a nice 12-12 uh, right there. Uh, that is exactly what was planned. So, but here's here's the thing. I'm looking at my cards. Okay, what can I do? All right, well let's let's take out this uh, machine gunner here, and let's take a look at what uh, what's possible. We've already used our blade of the samurai, um, and we know exactly what our opponent's play is going to be. And it's going to start advancing now. Twelve twelves aren't indestructible, um, so they're especially when you have some units boosted but they can do a lot of damage they can take out a lot of of uh of units so i'm going to boost up my uh type 97 up to a 5-4 which is pretty good and i'm kind of looking i'm going to hang on to some of the cards which pin the units and so forth and do damage from the air i'm just going to look for opportunities to um you know, to see what I can do about taking out this 12-12. Now, interestingly, he plays Resolute Defense. Now it's a 13-15. And I think the goal is, uh, obviously, to attack my HQ and see if uh, it can be wiped out in a couple of, of turns. But uh, if nothing else, because that card repairs at the beginning of its uh, turn, um, it's in a in unless I destroy it, it is not. Um, <laughs> it's going to do uh, a lot of damage, uh, taking out a lot of cards. But uh, I have to destroy it, and it has ambush, so I've got to utilize um, these units in the best possible way. So I'm going to use that unit just to eliminate the ambush portion. And I happen to have another one in hand, so I played that one again. Still got nine credits here. And uh, so I'm going to sacrifice that unit there. Um, then I'm going to sacrifice that unit there, um, which does two damage to the HQ. I love that unit. 
and then with the help of air superiority wipe it out and i end with two cards left over on the uh, on the table and the opponent says nice uh, it did cost me a lot in terms of units but i do have the card draw coming up and there's uh the um <laughs> there's a uh the, the the british unit that uh, brings in the uh the boost to match the uh defense i can't remember i think it's naval uh invasion naval warfare or something like that and uh so i advance my unit my japanese unit to take advantage of the expansion card i'm going to put the kate into play and take out that unit at very little cost to myself i still have five credits left to drop down the guard and now we are in a fairly good position. We have, still have some removal in hand. And uh, um, I've got the Baluk uh, Regiment to reinforce my uh, HQ. And the, the famous Russian 1-8 guard goes down with naval support. That was the, sorry, that was the name of what I was thinking of. So suddenly I'm up against an 8-8 again. So again, this is where you got to play smart. <clears throat> Add up your... Uh, your different attacks, what's going to make sense, um, how can can this unit be uh, removed. It's protecting the HQ, um, so I didn't want to use uh, uh, the removal cards just to damage that uh, card. I can't use Amphibious Assault anymore because it's uh, had its attack boosted. So um, I think it's just a, a matter of sitting tight at the at this point. There's really nothing I can do. Naval operation isn't going to do a lot. Um, and at the uh, the middle card there, the bombing card, is not going to do any good. So just sit tight and wait for other opportunities. Don't waste your cards. That's something I have learned is do not waste your cards uh, because there's bombing raid, yes. So that is now... A very interesting possibility um, but uh, when you have cards down on the board unless you're completely backed up with because you have so many units uh, treat your units with respect try to keep them alive they're way more effective that way obviously but it's something that you want to um, make sure that you're managing and I even managed to get a uh, an attack off and now I'm going to play the type 97 before um, I play that uh, attack so I do a, one more damage now I still have some removal as well I've got uh, a bunch of of uh, attack factors almost enough to take it take out the the enemy HQ I think I probably can uh, but uh, high altitude bombing destroys two of my units and draw naval operation. This is again another reason why you want to save the units that are on the board as best as possible. Because uh, I've had a, I played another game today where I drew a whole bunch of operations cards and removal. It's great, but if you can't uh, keep up with the momentum on the board, then it there really is uh, no advantage. <laughs> so now I'm one uh, at my. Uh, I'm at 24 to 1 here in terms of my HQ help. Um, it doesn't look like my opponent's going to be able to do much to uh, to stop uh, to stop me here. And uh, that is the game. So um, again, just play smart. Make sure that you're keeping your cards on the board. Make sure you're not making unnecessary sacrifices. And uh, uh, anyway, I just thought this was a, a fun victory. Um, it, it needed to pull off some combos to make it uh, to make it happen, um, but in the end, uh, pulled out the win. So th thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and comment down below. This is Legendary Tactics.